Hi, Vince Wrightley of Stormwind Studios. As you can see, I'm actually in the, the corporate office. I spent the week out here. It was great seeing everybody. And a couple of things as I was walking around, I, I got lots of questions about what's going on with the new vSphere 6.5 class. And then um, another one was on certification. I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about those two things. So let's talk about the first thing, certification. Everybody wants to talk about certification. VMware for the first time actually introduced a dot revision. So there is a VCP 6.5 that was announced at the beginning of April, uh, which is new. I've been uh, VCP all the way back to version three and there's never been a, a dot five or an incremental VCP. So this is a, something new for VMware that they're doing. So what are the requirements? Uh, there are still two exams required uh, to get your VCP, be it a version six or a 6.5. The two exams are the foundation exam, and this is where it gets a little bit interesting. You can take either the vSphere 6 foundation exam, or you can take the 6.5 uh, foundation exam for either certification. When you get to the professional exam, that second uh, elective exam, you must take either the 6 or the 6.5, depending upon which certification you're actually trying to get. As far as the requirements for a course, you are still required to sit for an authorized VMware class, either the vSphere uh, ICM6 or you can sit for the vSphere ICM6.5 class. So depending upon which certification you want to get, uh, you will need to sit for the appropriate class. Um, we offer both of those classes at, at this particular time. So let's talk about the differences between the 6 and the 6.5 class. Um, the 6.5 class is actually laid out the best of any class that, that I've actually taught from VMware all the way, again, back to the 3.x days. Um, it's laid out in, the, in a fashion where you actually do the installation of ESXi, so if you've not seen that process, uh, as well as installing and configuring the um, vCenter server appliance, the new Photon-based uh, appliance to manage your infrastructure. And then we go through and we do the storage and we will talk about networking. So it does flow how you would actually build it from the ground up. And then if you've already got your uh, environment uh, laid out and you just want to talk about managing, that's um, the second half of the class is where we're going to be talking about managing and prioritizing workloads and how, how do we do all of that. Uh, so it does, the 6.5 class does offer um, some instruction and we introduce some of the new features that are part of 6.5. Uh, there is no vSphere client, uh, the, the old thick C Sharp client in 6.5. So we've got some new clients that we're going to be dealing with. Uh, we introduce those, you get a chance to uh, use those, uh, as well as some of the new functionality within DRS and HA. We describe that as well. So some new features as far as which one should I take as far as you know, I'm running a six in my environment. Should I really take a 6.5 class? It's similar content. Uh, the 6.5 class is actually laid out better from a, from a flow perspective. Uh, and it does have some of the new features that you will probably be implementing uh, at a later time. So either one, uh, but I would personally, from a flow perspective and, and uh, getting to know the, the product itself, I'd probably look at the 6.5 class. So again, I want to thank everybody for uh, the, the great week. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to let me know. Have a great day.